Hello, this is Mike Live from Northern Kentucky University, and we're on part three of setting up our content management system, uh, the last leg of the journey here. And what we need to do is basically configure that gateway.php file. Let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to bring up that gateway.php file in our uh, basically just a uh, text file in Notepad. And we have uh, basically th four um, URLs in the sense that we need to set here. One is the URL to the data set. And the other is basically the path, the server path to the data set. I'm going to show you how to do that. The next one is the URL to the assets folder. And the last one is the path to that assets folder. Now, you may not know what that path is. So I'm going to show you some PHP that you can use to find that path. Very simple program. Let's go and bring that up right now. It's in the uh, Word document that you downloaded from my uh, Google code. So come on down here. Very simple piece of code. It's, we'll call it the find paths uh, program. And... Uh, you can just basically get, search the web to get CWD, which will give you the path of a directory. And it's basically just echo get CWD. And so we're going to grab this. We're going to create this uh, um, PHP uh, simple code here. And it's going to echo back that path of the directory when we run the PHP. So let's open up Notepad. We'll just put in a new application. Just paste that code right here from the Word document that I provided and file save as and we'll call it get path and you want to make sure that you're uh, not saving as a text document just as all uh, documents that allow you to save as a particular uh, and we'll make sure we put our extension .php on that and go ahead and save that to your desktop and now let's open up FileZilla And I'm going to basically drag that guest path uh, program right into FileZilla from my desktop. And then I'm going to run it. See, what is the path to that CMS folder? So let's go ahead and run that real quick. So I'm going to go to my browser. And I'll just go ahead and type in www.nkuflc.org slash my CMS. Uh, and that's basically the end uh, Get path dot PHP and let's run that program. And here's the path right here to the CMS. It's home forward slash nkuflc forward slash public html forward slash my CMS. Now you could go ahead and put this same program into each of the folders, the data folder and the assets folder, and run it, and that'll give you the path to those folders. There's no reason that we do that right now because since we basically know what the header, the first part of the path is supposed to be, we go ahead and paste that in for the rest of the code. So let's now set the XML data URL. So now we've got www.nku forward slash org, and it's my CMS, and data forward slash data set. And this is going to be home, NKUFLC, public HTL, with my CMS. And once again, the next one's going to be www.nku.org forward slash my CMS. And this will basically correspond to whatever your server is. You wouldn't use mine, but you'll use, use yours that you'll get from basically the direct paths or the uh, uh, git path directory. And as you see this home forward slash nkuflc forward slash public underscore html forward slash my CMS. So now we have the path set. We're going to go ahead and save that as a PHP file dot PHP. And make sure you're saving as all files, so you'll get, end up with a text file instead. We'll save that to the desktop, and we're going to replace that. And now we're going to drag that into uh, FileZilla, and pretty much we'll be configured and ready to run. So let's go ahead and, and open up FileZilla again, and drag in that new um, gateway PHP file, and replace it. And now we're ready to test our content management system. So let's go back to the Flex program. Let's click on the My CMS and let's run it and see what happens. Time to cross your fingers because you never know. You always seem to get something wrong in Adobe Flex or Flash when you program it the first time. But once you go through it, um, then uh, it debugs fairly well and the programs are really stable. So the program did come up and the first thing it's going to ask me to do is go to the settings. I'm going to click on settings. And I want to put in that URL to verify that uh, my gateway. So HTTP. And you only have to do this once, www.nkuflc.org forward slash 
my CMS forward slash gateway dot PHP and verify and it did verify so that's fantastic I'm going to save that and I do have several things right here so here's our content management system it is running I and here is the data that we wish that we originally put in and you can see everything it seems to be working the way it's supposed to be there are no images in right now and so we want to upload an image and change this file so we can go ahead and change this just by typing in uh, something new like my uh, first file put in a subtitle and put in a uh, body and let's navigate and bring in an image and navigation system seems to be working well and let's come along here and find an image from the desktop and we'll grab a fish and there's the fish and we can go ahead and save changes and then upload uh, changes to the server and everything seemed to be working great and there's my uh, first title and I can go ahead and add content as I need it. Now let's go to the server and make sure all that did happen correctly. So let's go to FileZilla and see if indeed uh, the uh, image folder was uploaded to the image file. And so I'm going to go to my uh, root directory. And then let's go to our CMS, or my CMS. And go to the assets folder, and there you, there's the fish. Uh, icon. So indeed, uh, the uh, content management system is working fine. I would love to say, hey, look, uh, that's all there is to uploading this, but it was fairly complicated. There are several steps. And uh, however, we have outlined those steps. So just go through my notes and go through it step by step, and you'll get this up and running. And from here on, we're actually going to use this base code and hack the heck out of it to build a fairly more sophisticated application. So thanks to the authors who wrote the book, um, uh, create, modify, and reuse. We definitely are going to create, modify, and reuse. And that's all there is to it from Mike Lively at Northern Kentucky University. Okay, we have one last piece to do, and that's create an Adobe Air application. It's very simple to do. Just go to Flex. Just go to the Flex project. Uh, go ahead and click on your application and go to Project Export Release Build. I'm going to export this as an Air application, of course, and go to Next and go to create, you're going to create a certificate and we'll just call this my CMS and put in some organization stuff and put in a password and we'll save it as my CMS and hit finish and it's creating the Adobe Air application right now and you can see that that Adobe Air application MyCMS.Air is now in my uh, uh, Flex folder. And I can actually copy that and take that to my desktop and run it as I've done in previous tutorials. And so if you want to learn more about working with Adobe Air and getting certificates and everything that you need to know about um, getting this online and distribute it, make sure you go and watch my tutorial on Adobe Air, getting started embedding a browser in Flex 3.